Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode. I'm trying to get the lighting right here. Um, welcome back to another episode of Gets My Goat. Today we are here with Saffron, my uh, Toggenberg doe. She's about uh, maybe a year and a half, maybe not quite. Um, and today we're going to be drawing some blood to send off to a lab that tests uh, animal samples um, for various different, you know, things, diseases and um, uh, uh, par you know, parasites and all that good kind of stuff. Um, but today we're going to be drawing a sample uh, from her to send off to be tested for pregnancy. So um, I'm going to run through some of my supplies here. I have a red top tube because it's going to be a serum test. We're going to put the sample in here, send it off to them. They're going to put it in a centrifuge. It's going to spin it really, really fast and it's going to separate the white blood cells from the red blood cells basically and um, then they'll draw from that. And uh, then we have a, we're going to need some a needle and syringe. Um, I have the form stuff. You need uh, the paperwork here. This is the uh, Sage Ag, uh, Ag Labs goat submission form. Stop it! Get out! Get out! Um, you need to send this in to them so that they know what they're doing and so that they have an uh, an ID on the animal to start with. I have an I have one envelope, and in this envelope I put some. Um, Kleenexes, and we're gonna wrap the uh, tube, the blood tube, in here when we get it. Then we're going to tape it shut with some tape, and then we're going to put it in a larger envelope that already has the uh, address and then the return address. And then we're going to close it, and then we're gonna tape it again, and then we'll take it to the post office. So. Uh, we're going to get started here. I'm going to start with a smaller one. Now this can be a little difficult. I'm going to be trying to go uh, for the jugular vein. Hey, I'm going to scoot this over maybe a little bit. Tony's needing some attention. This is a cord for the uh, heat lamp, so I can't really get that out of here, so I do apologize. I do apologize for that, but... Okay, so, here we go. Stop it. I'm gonna pull her up here. I'm gonna take her collar off. I'm gonna put it back on when we're all done. I'm gonna... I'm gonna start from this side, because I'm left-handed. Stop it. So if I can draw from with my left hand, it'll be better. So I'm going to go to the right side. Turn her head. You better not fight me. Now this may take more than one stick. Hopefully not. But if she's squirming all around and everything, it may take... Get your leg out of there. It may take more than one attempt. So, be warned. Need you to hold still, baby girl. Need you to hold still. Oh, I didn't even touch you yet. Hold still now. Hold still now. <laughs> I was in. But she's moving a bit. Now you need, well, that's not going to be enough. Alright, so 
I was in. I got about half of what I needed. Oop. That's just my coat. I have a really nasty old coat here. Um. You need about uh, a mil and a half. Maybe uh, two mils. I mean, two mils is probably plenty. But you probably need at least one milligram of blood. I would say that's probably bare minimum. Okay, baby. Put this out. Oh, Tony! Mm-mm. Hold still. Hold still, honey. I'm sorry. We're gonna go to the other side, maybe. I don't know, baby. I don't know, baby. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Now there is a way that you can draw from the tail, but personally, um, I've never done that. So, let me see if I can take a look back here. I think drawing from the tail would be pretty hard. Okay. Gonna switch sides here. I've drawn a blood from her before. And she she did I was able to get blood better from the left side than the right side, but I'm really, I'm really hoping I'm not, you know, freaking everybody out here right now, but I do know what I'm doing, it's just difficult. <laughs> I have done this before. I'm going to turn her head this way, feel for the vein. And if you hold still, we just might be able to get it. Oh, uh, 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 uh. Hold still. So you put your finger, stop, in the jugular groove, right down here, and then you turn their head just a little bit, good, and then you watch to see, it'll kind of fill up a little bit.
Ha! Uh -huh. <laughs> this is plenty of blood. So we're gonna hold that off for just a sec. That side is that side is usually the better side. Okay, so now we kinda have to act, act quickly. Take the top off. You take the top off of your tube because that will um, allow you to have the sample go through the syringe instead of into the needle through the needle and it preserves the uh, the uh, cells better and then we put the lid back on and then we rock it a couple of times like this da -da 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 -da. okay now we're gonna sit it up upright like this somewhere in the corner right here you won't be able to see it but we're going to set it upright for a few minutes and let it clot while that's doing its thing we're going to check check on her right here i'm sorry honey we're making sure that she's not you know having any issues a bit of love on her that was a bit worse that was a little bit more traumatic than i thought it was going to be so I'm I'm really sorry about that, but but once you know she held still long enough for me to get it in the right place, and I was able to see it and feel it better on the left side. So so that was more helpful. Good girl. We're just gonna love on her. And while we have her up here, um, I did some counting. And uh, she was she was with the buck in in February when she went to the breeder when she went to the buck. Um, she was with him for about two maybe two and a half weeks or so. And I checked my calendar and I brought her home on the 18th of February. And from the 18th of February to Today, the 27th of April, you get out of here. From the 18th of February to the 27th of April, it's been 64 days. So, oh wait, 60, 69, 69 days I believe I counted. And um, so she's at least 69 days along if she is in fact pregnant. It's going to be really early to feel any fetal development, you know, any, they're probably not going to be kicking yet, or anything like that, but that's not to say that she's not pregnant, so, okay, so now, really quickly, we're going to take, I brought an extra uh, Kleenex out here, we're going to take that, and take our sample, and make sure, once again, make sure the lid is on nice and tight. We're going to wrap it. We're going to wrap our tube in the Kleenex like this. Gently. Take our first envelope. And I kind of made a, kind of made a little, little hole in there. Little, um area for it to go so we're going to place it in there just like that right on top we're going to set it right on top there now we're going to close it we bring up our bring up our tape tape it up really quickly come on Tape's a little bit dirty because it's 
my hands are my hands are dirty, so tape is gonna be a little bit dirty. Put some. Uh, oh, my goodness. Oh, what's, oh, what's wrong with me today? Okay, so one more good piece of tape. Okay, so we've got this all nice and taped up. Um, I may. Well, I, did I bring a pen out here? Yes, I did. I'm going to uh, label it, and I'm just going to say sample within. Sample within. They'll know that, but just to, just so that they know. Now I'm going to take our um, take our paperwork. Double check it. It has my name, my address, my email address. Tony, get out of here. Get out. It's not green. Get out of here. I, uh, I have my stuff in a bucket and she thinks it's green. Um, it has Saffron's name, Saffron's ear tag number, which is 0050, and then the days that I suspect that she's been pregnant. All of that looks good, so I'm going to fold it. Get out of here, Tony. Go. 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 You're so naughty. I'm going to fold it just like this, and we're going to take the paperwork in the envelope with the sample and just place it in here, stop it, and then we bring up our, no ma'am, get out of here, get, get out of here, you're busy, Tony, stop it. Stop it. Be naughty. So we're going to fold up our little brads like that. Go down like this. Do 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 do, do like that. Okay, and then we pinch them over. Now we're going to put some tape on this just to make sure that it um, doesn't happen to happen to come open. I'm not gonna worry about Tony anymore. Okay. Couple more pieces of tape. And we're almost done. Okay. We're getting there. not green. There's not green in there, so you're just going to have to figure that out on your own. Okay. Alright, now, quick recap. We have taken blood. Check. Put it in our secure uh, envelope inside with some um, Kleenexes in there in case it leaks or spills or anything like that. It'll absorb it check. We have taped our envelope inside here. Check. We've double checked our paperwork and put it with the envelope. Check. We've placed it in here. Check. Taped it. Check. Addressed it. Check. Return address. Check. Um, I think that's, that's just about it. We're going to clean up some of our stuff here really fast. I'm going to put Saffron's collar back on. And once again, we're just going to give her poor little neck a, a peek really quick and make sure that she's not still bleeding. Check. Alright, she's good. Um, so now the next step is to take it to the post office and um, I will be we will be back with the results in a couple of days when we get them. So, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Sorry if it was super gruesome. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. And I really appreciate all of you guys. Thanks. Alright. see if I can get in there. Okay. Okay, so... 
today we are looking at the results from, I'm gonna come down here. So we're looking at the results from the blood test that we sent in from Saffron. Um, we just watched the video of the uh, taking the blood draw and uh, I sent it off and that was about a week ago now so these are two separate videos but I'm going to mush them into one um, and today I get my emails on my phone and I saw a notification pop up in my emails that said I got one from the Sage Agriculture Labs with the test results so I'm trying to get it on Putting on my computer right now onto my uh, emails. I haven't looked at the results yet, so I have no idea what they say. Scrolling. Sage Johnson test results. It's the one we want. So, just really quick before we look at the test results, um, I haven't looked at them yet. I just have it pulled up, so don't freak out. Uh, I do kind of suspect that she is bred for, I have a few things that make me think she's bred. One is that, uh, her personality over the last two or three weeks or so has changed. She's become a little bit more attached to me, like when I go out there to feed them or when I feed Bessie or anything like that, she, you know, comes up to me and nibbles on me and wants to be near me and she's always like that but it's changed a little bit and that's more or less a subjective sign because not all goats will display that you know sign sometimes they're the opposite sometimes they become more standoffish and more grouchy but um the occasional uh change in behavior can sometimes be a result of you know hormones that are going through their body because they're they can be pregnant, just like, you know, with women it happens, they break down crying for no reason, you know, so that can happen, but again, that's not a clear-cut way of telling. Um, another thing that makes me suspect she may be bred is her, her belly is getting a little more round, and the first couple of days I noticed it, I kept an eye on it, because I thought, at the time I was letting them free range and I thought well you know maybe she's eating a lot and her belly you know her stomach is just really full um, but they haven't free ranged now in 10 days or so and it's still pretty big you know so the point being is that she's not just full like her tummy isn't just full of food and she is almost three months along so this is about the right time to start seeing you know signs of her getting bigger um, it's about the earliest you'd see it, but, and then the third thing I've noticed is, um, every now and then, pretty much since she's, uh, gotten back from being bred, I'll take my hand, and I, I'll show you this later, actually, because we're gonna go out and we're actually gonna trim some of the long hairs off of her back legs, but, um, I take my hand and I just run it between her back legs, right about where her udder would be, and even though, uh, a while ago, even though she didn't have an udder, I did that so that when she, if there was any change, I would be able to, to pick up on it. Because I would know what it felt like before, you know, say what it felt like last week versus what it feels like this week, you know. And the last week or so, I actually have noticed that there is a little tiny bit of pudginess going on there. Meaning that she is probably starting to develop her first udder. Um... Again, that's not a that's a that's a fairly good indication, especially when they're um, first time kidders like she is. It gets harder after they've had um, kids, but um, when they're first time kidders, it's that's usually a fairly good indication that they're bred because they sometimes can get what's called a precocious udder, which is where um, because it is a that is a uh, glandular system. They are mammary glands. Sometimes they can become um, you know, swollen and inflamed, and as a result of hormones going through their body from being in heat or being around a buck and not necessarily being pregnant. So 
that is not always a 100% indicator that she's pregnant, but it can be a fairly good indicator. So those are the three things that I've noticed, and they all three point to, you know, possible pregnancy, which we're hoping for. I did try to breed her last fall, but she didn't take, so. All right, so we're opening the file right now. Gonna tell me if she's bred or not. <gasps> oh my goodness! She's bred! She's pregnant, you guys! I wanna show you. I don't know if you can read that. So that's just the indication. This right here is where you're looking the PSPB range. That's the, um, and it says under there, it says pregnant. And I counted, uh, she's more than 68 days now, but when I sent in the sample, she was 68 days from when I took her out of the buck pen, not when I put her in, because they don't, you know, obviously they don't get bred on the day they get there. Sometimes they do, but not always. So, right there. So she's pregnant! <laughs> I'm so excited! Yay! Oh my goodness, I'm gonna cry right now. I'm so excited. Oh... <laughs> okay, um, yeah, so there's that. So the, I don't exactly know, uh, what the, the, um, PSPB is an acronym for, I don't know what, but I do know that, um, what they do is they take the blood sample, they spin it in a centrifuge, they pull off the serum, and then what they're testing for is a, um, Oh my goodness, it's a hormone or a complex or a some sort of, um, I don't know, bodily thing that gets put into the mom's blood system from the baby's placenta, and that's how they know they're bred. So, anyway. Okay, so I guess Saffron is having babies in July. Yes! Oh, I'm so happy. Yay! <laughs> oh, I'm so excited! You're gonna be her first babies. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Oh my goodness. Okay, um, I'm gonna pause the video. Well, not pause the video. I'm gonna end it here, and um, we're gonna go out, I think, and see if we can't trim some of the uh, long hairs on her back legs and all that good kind of stuff. And we'll take a look at her and see if I can show you guys some of the stuff I was talking about, because it's always a little bit easier to understand it when. I'm gonna show it to you. Okay, we'll be right back. All right. Hey, Bess. Okay, here we are with Saffron, and we're gonna be trimming the hair um, along the inside of her legs really quick. So we're just gonna come back here, and I'm just using scissors, but you can use, you know, if you have clippers, that's great, but I'm just using scissors. It doesn't have to be perfect. You don't, you know, you don't want to cut them, but it doesn't have to be perfect. At least not yet. She's not, she's not going to a show right now or anything. Ha, Bessie, what are you doing? Okay, okay. See, so now, even though I've just only, I'm going to kick Bess. Even though I've only taken a few snips of the scissors, I can already see, yep, that there is some mammary development. Which is good. So I'm cutting really... Um, I'm cutting slowly just so I don't cut her. I don't want to cut her skin. Easy, easy. You don't have to go, you know, bald. But it's going to purdy things up a little bit. Easy, easy girl. Easy baby girl. I know you're going to have babies. Cut some more of that side here. Sorry, you guys can't can't see that. So I'm going down the leg like this. Trying not to get a mouthful of hair. I know you're hungry. I'm gonna feed you in a second. I'm gonna feed you in a second. Just like this. I'm going to ruffle it up under here just a smidge. And I'll show you guys. Sorry, I just spit.
spit out my hair. I should have I should have taken a video or a picture when she got back from the breeder so we could compare, but you guys will see what I'm talking about in a minute, I think. So now I'm trimming in be in between just a tiny bit in front of in front of the udder up here. I'm just doing a little tiny bit underneath cuz all of this space under here will be full when she gets her udder. Just double checking, checking for any long hairs. Might thin stuff out up here just a bit. It's very light up here. Okay. Alright, I think that's all we're going to do for now. She doesn't need her tail or anything like that done yet, but... I know you're hungry. I have best crawling all over me over here. Alright. I'm going to take the hair from the tip of her tail just a smidgen. Alright, that's it. Now, so again, the purpose of this is just to see her udder, um, and that's pretty much it. So, let's see if I can square her up. So, I'm going to show you guys, show you guys right now. So, the inside of the, the inside of the leg, right here, I did back here just a little bit, and now her udder is in between, and you can see that it's starting to kind of take shape. I might actually go back in and get some of those hairs, but you can see now that it's starting to take shape in there. And if I just gently put my hands on it, it's I can I can grab this much of it. And it's going to be a lot bigger, but that's about it. So, okay. And then if I come up here and try to look at her, and it's kind of hard. Let me see if I can do that. So if I look at her square on, her rumen is on this side. This is the left side. And if you wait like a minute or so, you can usually feel the rumen moving. And then over here is usually where they carry their kids over here and then underneath. And you can see that my hand goes kind of round like that. Where it would normally be, you know, sunken in. And then her hips are here. So she has a little dip and then it goes out like that. And that's her little baby bump. So, alrighty. We'll come back here. We'll move away so we don't have to look at her tiny. <laughs> and I have Bessie here being all nutsola on me. Huh, babe? Okay, so uh, we now know that Saffron is pregnant. And she's going to be, uh, she was bred in February. Their gestation period is um, five months. Or uh, usually 150 I think it's 100 and, like 45 to 150 days, and then uh, meat go breeds go a little bit longer, which are usually uh, 150 to 155 days. Um, and and then you know they kid, so she's gonna be due uh, February, March, April, May, June, July. So I didn't start in February; I started in March, obviously, like you do when you count. Um, and I will make another video when the time gets closer to, you know, show you some preparations that I usually do. We'll put together um, the kitting stall and the kitting supply kit when the time gets closer. But we still have, you know, a couple months before we need to do that. Um, as far as nutrition, things, uh, I have been grading her and making sure that she has, you know, hay and, and water. But as far as nutrition goes now, that's going to be really important for her to get um, things like selenium, and you know, making sure that she gets some good uh, selenium in her in her grain and everything like that to help support the, the growing kids. Um, and we're just, <laughs> we're just super happy and super excited that she's going to be having her babies. And um, I think we're going to call it good there. So thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'm really, really, really glad that we uh, were able to to find that out and I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, please like share and subscribe